a little decision And never put your hand to no this listening to Styles FM Radio 96.1 and 96.7 coming to you from Port Antonio, Portland, Jamaica. This is the Spiritual Vibrations program. My name is Sister P and I will be with you until 12 noon today. Give thanks. Another week has passed. I'm here. You're there. So let us together give thanks for life. Hope you had a blessed week. Welcome to listeners on the radio and on the internet and to those of you tuning in for the first time. We'd also like to take this opportunity to welcome all visitors to the island and especially those of you visiting the parish of Portland. Yes, I missed you last week and although the program was pre-recorded, talking into a mic without listeners just wasn't the same. We'd also like to apologize for technical difficulties that we were having this morning, but we are okay now, up and running. You're tuned in to Spiritual Vibration. Yes, there is a natural mystic flowing through the air. And as we watch, and sometimes we in Portland have a way of saying, boy, it rain here every day, and people say they don't come to Portland because it rained too much in Portland. But that's what gives us our beauty. That's what people love about Portland. And as we watched on television last night, and we saw parched, dry lake, all kinds of canals, things drying up in other parts of the island, Jamaica really is a God-blessed place, and this is why we have to stick out. This is why we have to fight for it. And I hope you feel the same way too. The goodness of your words will carry you through. Do good on the others, and I will do the same for you. Bless you. Good morning to you, Taria. Give it a child, yes, patience friend. is a virtue. Patience is a virtue. Love is the answer. There ain't no other. Oh, love. Yes, although I wasn't here last week, Taria, I did make sure that your Bujabanton was there for you.
words of inspiration for today. Every time that we open our mouths, we release a very powerful energy. If we could just learn to hold on to that energy, it could be used to nurture our dreams, heal our bodies, and fuel our minds. But we always have so much to say. Talking can take us off the track, knock us off our center, and kill off, kill off our dreams when we just speak mindlessly. Talking is something that we must learn to use, not something that we must always do. There is a very powerful message in silence that energizes the mind, it energizes the body, and it energizes the soul. Think of the sun, think of the moon, and think of the stars. They all appear silent, but they never fail at their job. Their wisdom is silence. There is wisdom in silence. Think of the mountains and think of the trees. They never have anything to say, yet it takes great effort to bring them down. There is love in silence. Perfect timing, order, and completion accomplished in total silence. Silence is an art. Silence is a tool of the wise. When we perfect the art of silence, chances are we will get a lot more done. Our affirmation for today, today I will practice the art of silence. You know, that's a very powerful message because some people just feel that they have to talk, 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 talk. And when you talk like that, you don't have time. You just don't have time to think. You don't have time to make your dreams into a reality because you're just always talking. We talk negative about people, people we don't even know, just hearsay. You know, we just go on as if we know the person and all of these things. They just tear down people. We just deal with more love. Love in the society, love in the, in the nation, and love in the world. tell you that I have all kinds of friends and so I'm playing this for my friends who go to church my church sisters even though I don't go to church but we can't leave anyone out and we have to respect each other's thoughts so for my neighbor Pearl Jackson this is especially for you when I look down from low deep mountain grandeur And heal the moon And feel the gentle breeze Then sings my soul My Savior God to me My God to me How great thou How great thou art Then sings my soul My Savior God to me My God to me How great thou art
sudden that spirit went Sent him to die I scared get take it in Then on the cross My burden gladly buried He bled and died To take my sins away Then sings my soul My Savior God to be How great thou vibration styles fm 96.1 with sister p it's tiley it's fiery jennifer barrett said that when it comes to filling a prescription there's only one place that comes to mind supercare pharmacy one bridge street Port antonio they offer 12 percent discounts on all prescriptions have a truly friendly and caring staff not to mention they have a wide range in household gifts and cosmetic care and they're open monday to friday 8 a.m to 7 p.m saturdays 10 a.m to 8 p.m 
and they offer the best prices in Port Antonio. And for your convenience, they're open Sundays, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Or call us at 715-5141. Supercare Pharmacy, the pharmacy that truly cares. Don't be afraid to build. LNL Projects Limited offers construction and project management services to safeguard developers' investments in buildings and subdivisions of all types and size. We ensure that our clients locally or overseas receive value for money at each stage of the development process. Visit us at Shop 7B, Walker Plaza, Morant Bay, St. Thomas, or call 876-430-9592 or email lnlprojectslimited at gmail.com. LNL Projects Limited, experienced in making your construction dream a happy reality. Mr. Brown, Mr. Brown, the work material done, you know. What me do? Check Robinson's and Sons Hardware, man. Them have everything you need and more. They are at 18 West Palm Avenue, Port Antonio, Portland. Paints, nails, doors, everything to meet your hardware needs and much more. Call them at 993-9763 or 382-9763. 6209 and email them at s hardware at gmail.com Mr. Brown, we get everything we need quick and fast Sure, maybe we could have just stopped the chatting so we could have done the work just as fast What was that, Johnny? No, man, we just said Robinson and Son are going good Robinson's and Son's Hardware We are always here to serve you Presently, you are listening to the Spiritual Vibrations with your host, Sister B. All tune in, including he, she, and the old lady. Styles FM, to the world, world! Forget no way they crucified Jesus Christ. I'll never forget no way they sold Marcus Garvey for rice. I'll never forget no way they turned their back on Paul Bogey. Hey, hey, so don't you forget who you who you are and where you stand in the struggle. They got so But spiritual wickedness in high and low places So while they fight you down Stand firm and give your thanks and praises Cause I and I don't expect to be justified By the laws of men Good morning DP There is a listener in Shirley Castle Who says to big you up And I think it says that wishing you a good day I'd like to give a shout out to the Mount Pleasant Women's Cricket Team, and this is coming from Samantha. Yeah, 
there's so much things to say right now. Holy for something for talk about. Well, last week Thursday, in what was considered Holy Thursday, hundreds, hundreds of us participated in a historic demonstration in Kingston. We marched for justice, we marched for equal rights, and we marched for the truth. You should have seen the streets of Kingston. The streets of Kingston was a sea of red, gold, and green. And we showed us how we could have behaved because everybody was very disciplined. And if you are from Jamaica and if you're familiar with Kingston, the march started downtown Kingston and we marched to halfway tree. They wouldn't make us demonstrate in front of the House of Parliament, even though it's a people's house, but that is an next something because of the rules and regulations that have to go with that. However, so when we reached the Bustamante Industrial Trade Union, we had a silent protest there for about half an hour. And just to remind listeners that it was Alexander Bustamante who gave the orders to bring in Rastafari dead or alive. So, big, big something, you know. Big, big something through the street of Kingston. TV never cover it. Them never put it on. And them know about it, you know. Because them interview people who was going to be involved in it. But I think it was just too much for them. Too much for them. So them never bother come. So you can imagine how we shock. Few days later, after nothing to mention about that a historic event, we see them bring out a retired policeman and show some scar in him head top and say so that is a raster man they chop him in the same Coral Gardens incident. But we've been talking about Coral Gardens on this program. And you know what the man say? Him say, him want the government to compensate him for the chop where him get. So you see say we have a right now to ask for compensation for what happened to the people them. Because in other incident, you know, three Rasta man dead, three other civilian and two police. Nothing to mention about that, nothing to mention about the march, nothing to mention. And it was something. And while we was marching, you should have seen people lying the roadside and saying, yes, Rasta, no, I do the right something. So that show me exactly what is happening in this country. Because you see carnival, when uptown people go up there and wind up themselves and half naked, trust me, you have to turn off the TV if you don't watch that. If you don't want to watch that. But we have to laugh now this morning. Because we must talk about the Minister of National Security. Because him come to Portland and him get robbed. No member, you know, so Portland have the lowest crime rate. And Portland is a very peaceful place. But guess what? The Minister of National Security, where we think, well, not people like me, was taking care of we and securing we. Eh eh. And I said, go. They rob him. It's funny, but it's not funny. Because it just show you what go on. Last week, although I wasn't here, but as I said on the program, that I had taped the program before. But it's kind of weird because I had to come in on the Wednesday before I'm talking into a mic. And only not there. We just are talking to the mic. So it never felt feel right. So I never get to express myself the right way. Because I still can't get over how the Minister of Technology I give out two more licenses for telecommunication company. We still can't get over that. For what? We don't have enough cell phone in Jamaica. And every day we have to borrow from this one World Bank, IMF, all these different people. You know why? Because we don't make nothing where we ship out and earn foreign exchange. Nothing like that. We just... All these people come in, then put up them something, then come from foreign 
and then money go back to foreign. So why them can't figure these things out? Why, why, why? Why them can't figure it out? I'm talking about foreign exchange. If you want to buy one US dollar now, you need 99 Jamaican dollar to buy one US dollar now. And yet still we now make nothing, nothing for earn foreign exchange. We just did invite these people to come in, set up them something. For those of you who don't know, we call it creep. In other words, they just creep. They scrape all the little something where we have and carry it going back up for them place. And we left your said place. Sometimes I really wonder about it, wonder about these people, you know. But it tell you plain and clear if them can rob the minister of supposedly national security where some people say national insecurity. I don't know where you think. Then how secure you're going to feel in our own country. Because you don't think so him would have security guard and all them people. I as I say, might be true him there Portland and him say ciao. Portland, I'm going to do it. Mm-hmm.